today is October 8th, 2014. Tango's doing good. Using a different camera because the other camera I normally use is having problems. I don't know why the camera just shut off. Oh, the battery's getting low, that's why. It's a very nice day. Today is October 9th, 2014. I think it was doing good. It's a nice fall foliage. <clears throat> Looks like there's a um, an abscess or something. Like a hole, like a drainage hole or something in between there. Maybe the thorn on that burr ended up bare, like getting burrowed deep in there. So here we are at Mr. Carlson's. <clears throat> See his house is like it's all moss growing on the roof. He's got big holes over here where chipmunks are going. See he's got big holes under the door where the chipmunks are going in and making nests and bringing in acorns. This and knowing what a beetle looks like because this does not look like a beetle. Right. No, it is. It does. I mean, look, a, a, a common gear. Yeah, I know. And they're having a special edition of that. Bulbs from this. Can I get a bulb out of there and put it in here? No, I already explained to you the problem with this other one is because it's filled with water. You can water. see, you can see, I, we talked about this like a month or two ago. That's water? Yeah, the bottom here is filled with water because there's a crack in it that's going directly across the side here. You have to replace this or put tape or glue or something to prevent water from getting into it. Because if you put another bulb in there, it's just going to keep blowing the bulbs. That doesn't feel like it. It is a crack. I wasn't about. Oh, turn that thing out. What? Don't strip on his cord. I only got one hand, so I can't keep it up. Don't trip on his cord. Say hi. Smile and say hi, Mom. Is that your father's camera? Yeah. What do you think, Ken? What do you think? He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. No. What do you think? Today's still October 9th. Here, look up again. Let me get a picture of you guys. Look look forward. St stand next to him and look forward at me and I'll get a nice picture of you guys standing next to each other. Look, Stay Tango. Look, st Lift your head up, so look at the camera. Today's still October 9th. Gonna get some nice footage of the nice foliage. The trees are in the way. Stay Tango. Cattails are covering up the whole rock and everything. Go on Tango. So in a couple days, today's Thursday the 9th, October 9th, in a couple days, on Monday, the 13th, it's going to be exactly two years since Brandy passed away. And 
This is the spot where you can see some nice foliage. No idea why it says my battery's low. I just put two brand new batteries in here. Take some pictures. You got a small acorn? I said there are mainly small acorns, like I said yesterday. Did you notice my new hat? Can't see your hat. You want me to see your hat? All right, you want me to see your hat? Today is October 11th, 2014. Down here at Mr. Carlson's, picking him up to go for the walk. Saturday. Today is the uh, two years ago exactly today was the last day that uh, Brandy was able to go for a walk. She passed away on the 13th, but the 11th was the last day that she was able to go for a walk. I don't know if it recorded last time, but I was saying how today is October 11th, exactly two years ago today, um, in 2012. It was the last day that Brandy was able to go for a walk before she passed away on the 13th. Want to say hi? Hmm? Want to say hi? No. Today is October 27th, 2014. Tango's doing good. Walking down here in Mr. Carlson's to get him to go for a walk. Tango's looking for chipmunks and taking a piss. Today is October 21st. Tango's doing good. Yeah? October 21st, 2014. I was using the other camera a few minutes ago, but it keeps wanting to shut off. Now it seems like this older one is working okay now. The battery says it's low. Squirrels on the background cocking and making noise because they don't like tango. I was chasing a chipmunk over here a few minutes ago. Seems like that infection on his foot came back. It doesn't look like it's in the same area though. So I've been putting his muzzle on him so he doesn't keep licking it when he's inside laying down. I'm gonna have to put him on antibiotics again if it doesn't get better. I've been putting iodine on it. Today's October 24th, 2014. Tango's doing good. I'm having my angiogram, cerebral angiogram, done on Monday. After I have that done, 
I'm going to be scheduling to have the radio surgery. So, I mean, I'm not looking forward to that. I haven't been for many years, but I guess it's got to get done. Hopefully everything comes out or goes through good. Tango's doing good. You got that thorn stuck in his foot. A couple, about a month ago, he got infected and he went on antibiotics. And uh, it went away. And then he started licking at it again. I don't know if a little piece of that thorn is still stuck in there and it's agitating him, causing him to lick a lot and causing lick licking wounds. So, I got, got a licking wound, so I bandaged it up and uh, I bought some antibiotics. You can order online fish antibiotics. It was the same exact kind that the vet had given him. Same dosage and everything is exactly the same. It's just that it's for fish and it costs a lot less. You don't need a prescription to order it. So I'm going to put him back on that for the same period just like last time about a month ago when he first started having the problems and uh, see how that does. Hopefully he's not going to have to go and go back to the vet and have them like put him under anesthesia and look to see if there's a little thorn stuck in between his foot still. Like a little remnant that's like embedded in his skin in between the toes. That's like agitating him. I'm sure that's not going to be that uh, it's not going to be that great to have to do that. But other than that, he's doing good. He's very lovable. My, um... Or my cousin, CJ. He, um... He's the son of... My first cousin that I went to high school with here in Holland. And it was her first son that she gave birth to like right out of high school or like in her senior year or something like that. But he's been getting in and out of a lot of trouble and stuff and I just got some a couple letters from him. I've been writing back and forth. He wanted me to send him some pictures so I sent him some pictures. I ordered him a book too, the Larkin Rose, um, The Most Dangerous Superstition by Larkin Rose. It's a very good book. And I'm thinking about ordering him a uh, like a magazine subscription to some car magazine or something like that. But other than that, I don't know much else to say. Let's see if I can get Tango to say something. Hold on a second, Tango. Can you say hi? Hold on, stay. Stay, Tango, stay. 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 Good boy. Can you smile for the camera? These are all coming down past peak. It's that time of year when Brandy passed away. It was about, uh, about a week ago, 11 days ago, October 13th. That's usually when the leaves at their peak around here and it looks really nice all around right around that date around October 13th now oops it's a little bit past he's looking back and forth doesn't know which way to go usually when I'm here with Mr. Carlson we usually go the other way but because Mr. Carlson's not here today. We'll go around the pond, and I think he's used to that. But uh, I'm not with Mr. Carlson. We tend to go a different route. There's the pond. Uh, Mr. Carlson didn't come today because he's got a leaky sink. Some water leaking out from his drain pipe or something for his sink, so he wants to take care of that. 
you know, all the leaves, they look so pretty when they're at peak around this pond. And they're all down. Most of them are. But I figure Tango's got to be five and a half now, according to the, um, what the town had said in Coventry, and that got transferred to the Tolland. The age, if that was correct, he should be around seven and a half now. And he's doing really well for a dog his size at seven and a half. Because uh, he hasn't slowed down, he still runs around like crazy. Even when dogs get older, they tend to slow down and they stop running. He hasn't done that, he still likes to run around and hop around and get so happy. That's one thing I don't care too much for if dogs like jump up on people because that can be a hazard, especially elderly people and stuff like that, if they, they can knock them over. But he only does that to me when when I like come back home and I've been away for a little bit, like a couple hours or something, he gets all jumping up on top of me and so happy and stuff. So I guess that's not that bad because he doesn't do it to other people and it's just to me. But uh, it's always nice coming back home and he's always so happy to see me. Like exceptionally happy, more happy than my last dog was. Or, well, at least in the actions that he does. My last dog might have been just as happy, but she didn't run all around and jump all around like crazy for a couple minutes as much as he does. This is still October 24th, 2014. I wanted to get some good video of Tango off his leash without his muzzle drinking some water. I used to film a lot over here with my last dog. Better than getting just film of him walking in front of me and me talking. Good boy. Yeah? You good boy? You good boy? He gained back a little bit of weight. I was kind of strict for a while and put him on the diet and he lost like uh, 15, a little more than 15 pounds. I think it was like 17 or 18 pounds. But I started spoiling him, giving him bacon and ice cream, stuff like that as treats and cheese. So I think he's gained it back. He's probably like... 105 or 110 now, so maybe he gained back 10 pounds. Good boy. Taking some pictures. Today's October 29th, 2014. Tango's doing good. He's got his bandage off of his foot, so I gotta keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't lick it raw again. This is his spot where he goes pee all the time. 
better that he goes in one spot than in the middle of the yard, like all over the place. You can see the spots over here. But, like I said, at least it's better than going all over in the backyard. I chased a bunch of, or a couple of squirrels earlier today that were right around over here where you're smelling, they're probably eating the grapes that fell down. And they ran over and ran up this tree really fast. You smell the squirrels? He ate a squirrel. It was uh, probably like six or eight months ago. There was a fresh killed squirrel on the road that got hit by a car. And I know it was fresh because I had just gone by there like an hour before and it wasn't there in the road. So I brought it home and cooked it up for him. And he just ate the legs because the, the chest got crushed and I didn't know like if the intestines tainted the meat or anything like that. So I didn't mess around with the ribs or anything like that. I just cooked the, the legs for him and he liked it. Good boy. Today is October 30th, 2014. Tango's doing good. His foot's getting better. Didn't have to bandage it back up again. I'm back at uh, Two Ponds. So good. Taking Washington, a walk with Mr. Carlson. reported that the people in the area were concerned. Well, finish your story. What were you saying? He hasn't taken a shower in like uh, over three months now. He's waiting so that he can get his free handout of heat and oil from the government before he starts taking a shower. Doesn't want to heat up any water on the stove and maybe do a sponge bath, stand in this tub and do that or something like that. Doesn't even want to do that so he just doesn't take a shower for three to four months until he can get his free handout from the government for heating oil.
Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Just rolling around in the bed. I was trying to film it. He stopped. 